what is going on YouTube and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Last episode we started building our kingdom walls as you can see in the background over there. Uh, went ahead and finished the entire inside. Haven't started the outside layer but uh, the entire inside is complete. All the openings that you see is going to be where a tower is. Uh, actually built one to let you guys see what it's going to look like. It's going to have a little indoor area for the inside right here and where you can climb up the stairs. And you're going to have the two entrances then. So like this one will obviously extend when you have the second part of this wall. You'll be able to extend all the way through to that tower and you'll be able to walk all along the entire wall. But this is what that looks like. And this would be the connector then to this tower over here when I build that. It's a lot of resources to do. But so, uh, like I said, last episode is going to be a long, long progress. Uh, you could also then go all the way to the top of the tower up here. Where you can see all the views. And as you can see, we built all the way around. The only openings are where the towers are going to be. So we do have a long way to go for the wall. Um, but it is coming out real nice. Did not mean to get rid of that torch. Put that back. All right. Uh, today's episode, though, we will be building the first floor of the house. Um, I don't have all the resources to build the entire house. And plus, that video would be way too long anyway. Uh, so we're just going to build the first floor of the house. Bare minimum. Bare minimum. So uh, let's get started. All right. We laid it out. Uh, it's gonna look a little confusing to you guys, but I laid it out for me to be able to understand and kind of just like build off of. But this is going to be the size of the house. Pretty, pretty big. Uh, a lot bigger than the other Let's Play that we did. And I'm um, excited to make a bigger build, bigger little house. Uh, we're not gonna be going underground for a lot of our stuff like we did in the last Let's Play. Uh, everything's pretty much gonna be on the top. Well, uh, you know, the surface layer. So we needed to make a house big enough to, uh... Do, do everything we want to do. Uh, plan on putting the library for enchanting over here in this corner over here when I like level this out. Uh, and then I'm thinking the storage building is going to take up pretty much this entire center. The storage building I want to make massive. I have, a, I have an idea of how I want to do it. It's going to be massive and it's going to take up pretty much the majority of this land. Um, farm animals I plan on having over yonder where like that wall is so uh that's pretty much the layout i'm thinking right now it's obviously subject to change and we can have a lot of fun with it but let's get started with the house so for the house i actually chopped a bunch of spruce logs we're gonna be using that as the pillars and then the stone bricks underneath we're gonna need some stone brick stairs we're gonna need some stone brick walls uh for other exterior designs so let's go ahead and start. Let me grab my shovel. I'm going to take this down and we're going to put some spruce logs in. We're going to put the one there. We're going to go two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to go six high. You're going to take your damage. Uh, from there on, we're going to go one, two, and three. And then we're going to obviously do another spruce log which will go up six and I will obviously connect that later I just don't feel like jumping and you know hurting myself this entire video so let's continue on right here one two three do the spruce log right there and now on this we're gonna get rid of this this was just a marker we're gonna go in like that once and then we're going to turn. Boom. That's actually going to get deleted in a second. Because that will be the doorway. Do this. Once again, that was a marker. And put that there. And then finally complete it on this right here. So we're going to go all the way around and do that. I will be back once the base layout is complete. And we are done with the first layer. This is what it should look like if you guys are copying. Um, I know you did not see me do this. As soon as I turned off the camera, 
to uh, kind of build this. I realized I wanted it elevated for a couple of reasons. One, I had an idea for like a an outer part over here. Number two, I wanted to do a basement just for the house for the subway system that we're going to build and three i wanted this elevated enough so i can see over the, these towers which are on lower ground anyway so it should be good because uh, we're gonna have a balcony on the second floor and that balcony should be able to see this you know beautiful ocean biome over here that i love so much so that's why it is elevated did that off camera it took me about an hour to actually gather all this dirt because i didn't have it on hand um, let me break open and show you the inside. This is what it should look like. Uh, spruce, spruce logs, one, two, three of stone brick, and then you know, more spruce logs. You're going to bring them up six. Uh, these are going to be windows. You're going to bring right down the middle from the top, one off the top. And this isn't going to be the actual floor. Uh, that's why I had this closed because this wasn't going to be the door. This is going, you're going to be climbing up to this. Uh, there's gonna be stairs all in the front. It's gonna look really, really nice, and it's gonna go really well with the outer part of the of the uh, house. So that's why you know you're gonna, you, these windows are so high up. So don't think that I did that on purpose. The floor is actually gonna be one layer up. So you know, normal, normal, uh, normal floors. So let's fill that up. I could probably leave that open because I'm pretty sure the door is gonna be like this, which would make no because I need to go one up on this so the door is actually gonna go like that yeah that makes more sense all right leave it like that for now so I didn't really leave myself too much room to do the outer part of this house uh, poor poor judgment on my part honestly but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stone bricks Oop, did not mean to plant that I wanted to eat it do that all the time so you're gonna take your stone bricks and you're gonna go up one like that along the entire thing right then you're gonna go on this one up you're gonna take some stairs and you're gonna put the stairs like this again with the slab with the regular stone bricks over there take the stairs again and go like this and that's the design I'm going to now let's grab some dirt just so I have some more building room here all right so that's what it looks like then you're going to take your wall and you're going to go from the top like that and bring it all the way down just like that so again from the top over there and bring it all the way down I'm gonna leave that so I can pass all the way down and all the way down and I'll show you guys what that looks like get rid of that all right and that is the outside that is the outside design I think it looks really really cool it kind of you know gives it some depth it's not like a very simple build I'm just gonna build this out a little bit and go up just so you guys can see it a little bit better this is the outer wall I think it looks really really cool uh, definitely a lot more unique than the other house that we had in the other Let's Play. Uh, with that being said, on the corners, you're not going to wrap it around like, like, like this. You're just going to leave the corner open like that, and then you're going to continue. Like so. So for this, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab our, our stairs and bring them like that. same over here and that's going to curve like that you have the door bring it around like so I think I messed up this should be a brick there we go just like that should be a brick just like that and we'll bring that up and we'll bring that up and that is the design we're gonna get some smooth stone slabs and I'm gonna start building a staircase up to this door uh, first let's grab the stone brick wall and let's bring that down like that and same for this right here 
There we go. Perfect. So I will return once I have the smooth stone slabs and uh, we'll make our entrance into the house. All right, we got our slabs. Uh, I got rid of the stairs over here because I wanted like a three a three slab layer right here. So we're going to start right here in this corner and just bring it all the way across. That will go right there because this will start the next one like that, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. That works. All right. So it's going to, you know, just bring it across now at this point to build our steps. Oop, nope. Did not want to go up yet. Give me another layer like this. And one more. Nope. Messing this up. This one should be up like that. There we go. And one, two, and three. Yes, that is how I did it in my creative world. Whenever I have a building, I start in creative all the time and kind of map it out and see if I like it or not. This is how I did it. And it kind of, I, I, I kind of like the design for the, you know, for the front. I think it's really, really cool when I extend this out and, you know, clean this up a little bit. It's gonna look a lot nicer, but this is what the front of the house is going to look like. You'd have your door, and then we would start with our oak floor right here and start building, and I'm going to, going to have to light up underneath here just so nothing spawns, but I can do all that off camera. But this is the front of the house, and this is what it looks like. And I think it looks really, really cool, and I can't wait to uh, show you guys the completed version. Of all this so I will be back when the outer part of this house is completely complete and uh, we'll show you show you the finished product all right and the outer part of this house is complete built this little dirt scaffolding so you guys can see a full 360 of the outer part of the house and obviously off camera and by next episode we will be cleaning up all of this dirt and uh kind of getting the land prepared uh, i'm going to probably build stairs all the way down that it start extending out more and more i think that's going to look really really cool entering the house kind of be like a mansion on the hill type of thing uh, i'll get rid of all this scaffolding obviously and i have a couple of ideas of what i want to do with this dirt over here and how i want to cover it uh, I, that probably won't be until a couple of episodes. Uh, we have so many projects that we're working on and we have so little resources like that. All that cobblestone, I have no stone. Like, let's go into the chest and we're going to see my cobblestone. This is it. I need to make this into, this is all I have cobblestone wise. Three stacks and 12. Uh, my resources are absolutely depleted. So we do have a lot more to do. Uh... Hope, next project hopefully is a library because it'll make gathering these resources so much easier uh, but I am going to put in the floor and the, and the ceiling for the first floor uh, off camera it's going to be oak planks and oak slabs uh, you'll be able to see that actually no I think it's just oak planks I'm not doing the slabs but uh, that's not something that you guys need to see on camera and uh, we'll eventually get to the second story of this house just like we'll eventually get to the second layer of all of this wall and the towers. So many things to do, so little time, so little resources, but that is the beauty of Minecraft. There is no end. You play at your leisure and you do whatever you want. You build whatever you want the way you want it to be. So hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications. I upload as much as I can, as often as I can. Um, and until next time, guys, peace out.